we're gonna read the first sentences of all the books on here that I've not started. Now, if it is a book that I've already read the first sentence of for another video, I'll just skip over that one. So we're just gonna go through and see which first sentences I find most engaging and what books I'm most excited to read based off the first sentence. So let's go ahead and get into Where the Forest Meets the Stars, which I'm actually starting tonight. So hopefully this is a good first sentence. The girl could be a changeling. That sounds intriguing, and I already, like, I know what this is about a little bit, like, I know the synopsis, so that just made it, like, I'm really looking forward to this book. Normally, I, like, stack them and rank them and everything, but I'm actually doing something different with my reading system this month, so I'm going to just put these right back on the shelf when I finish the first sentence, but I'm definitely intrigued by this one, and I'm looking forward to reading it tonight. Now, Behind Closed Doors by Paris, I've already started, engaged in that one as well. Definitely recommend that book already. I think I'm like 55 pages into it. Looking forward to getting back to it after Where the Forest Meets the Stars, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one and go straight to Redeeming Love, which I got this in a little free library. And this book's normally like 25 bucks, so such a gem. I hope I like it gosh so pretty okay it has a shakespeare quote in the prologue but the first sentence is alex stafford was just like mama said looking forward to reading it i probably should have read the first sentence in chapter one but that's okay i'll do with this and i'm looking forward to getting to it this is like my motivator to actually like read through my books at night because i'm going in order might as well just tell you that i'm going in order of these so like once i finish this i'll go on to this and so on so that I can try to get through as many books as possible because I'm starting classes this month and next month I'm doing something different with my TBR possibly for the rest of the year just because of some life things that I'm going to need to have a little bit more flexibility with. Anyway, have I started this? I think I have. Yes, I've started this a while ago. I started this during book miss and I don't remember, um, but I know it was good and I'm looking forward to getting back to it, but I just don't remember. This I've started and I think it's gonna be pretty relatable. This I've read the first sentence of this one. I don't think I have. Okay, there's a quote for the prologue, but then it has like this little journal entry type thing. And the first sentence is, in my first memory, I am three years old and trying to kill my sister. Well, that's great. That's just spectacular. What the heck? <laughs> I'm stressed out by this book already. I may not like this. I got it just because it's like one of those that everyone's heard of before, but I'm already feeling like I'm not gonna like this. This one I'm super excited for whenever I get to. The Great Divorce by C.S. Lewis. There's a preface, but I'm gonna read the first sentence of chapter one. I seemed to be standing in a busy queue by the side of a long, mean street. Well, that's great, but that's not as engaging as I was hoping. Um, but I do know that I have wanted to read this one for a very long time. So hopefully it's, I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be great. Great. Anyway, ignore me. Next is Wallace in Love. I don't think I've ever read the first sentence of this. It's a biography, so I'm not sure it's going to be the most engaging um, because I've definitely been enjoying it fiction more lately. Ignoring the introduction, the first sentence of chapter one is unkempt, unruly, and untidy. Miss Minerva Buckner was hardly a model teacher. I think I am going to like that since I'm in school about teaching. Anyway, all right, the next one is Catalyst. I got a lot of these in Little Free Libraries. First sentence, I like to run at night. I do not, but okay, we'll, we'll find out why this character likes running at night. All right, now we have Law's Quandary. This was low-key a textbook in college that I never read. There's a preface, and then the first chapter starts off, jurisprudentially speaking, the 20th century was a tremendously fertile and tremendously feudal era. For textbook, not so bad. It has potential. Opportunity Knox I've started. This one I just have in here for my school now um, because I want to read the autobiography of Thomas Jefferson as I prepare for the Praxis 2, the social studies part of it. 
I just feel like it makes sense to like actually read from Jefferson himself. His first sentence is, at the age of 77, the age of 77 I begin to make some memoranda and state some re recollections of dates and facts concerning myself for my own more ready reference and for the information of my family. Very fancy sounding. All right, have I st I've started this one, so this one doesn't count. With my new ring light and tripod, you can actually see my bottom shelf. This is what it looks like. It does like. look kind of messy down here. <laughs> but as you can see, I skipped Seven Habits and Axe because I obviously have started those before like a long time ago. But I have not started this one. So let's see what the first sentence is. Once more, she rode into the Valley of Death. Spooky. Very engaging. We'll see how that one goes. These I've started. This one I have not started. Killing Kryptonite by John Bevere. It says to read the introduction first. This may surprise you, but I've never wanted to stop writing a book so many times in my life, which I'll explain in a moment. Okay, I have started this one. I have not started this one. Positive Intelligence. Frank, the CEO of a publicly traded company, entered the greatest despair of his illustrious professional career when his company's stock lost two-thirds of its value during the recession of 2008. I'm asleep already. I really hope this is going to be better than that. I've been, like, really looking forward to that one, so I truly hope it's an improvement on that first sentence. No offense. Um, I have started The Year of Magical Thinking. I have not started The Piano Tuner. In the fleeting seconds of final memory, the image that will become Burma is the sun and a woman's parasol. I don't know what that means, but okay. And then one that I am saving, I am not going to read the first sentence of this because eventually I want to read this, but I think at this point I'm going to save it for... What is that called? The Polarthon Meltdown? I'll probably save it for that, which will be a couple months from now, I'm sure. Maybe it'll be in the summer. Ooh. Middle shelf is all books that have not been chosen for my TBR yet, so I'm not reading the first sentences of those until they get chosen. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Which of these are you most intrigued by based on the first sentence? I have to be 100% honest and say, I'm most excited for where the forest meets the stars, and I can't wait to start reading it tonight. Subscribe if you're new, and comment below, and let me know which of these intrigued you the most. What book are you most excited to read yourself this month? On that note, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!